welcome, all you wonderful people, to one of the best games I have ever played in my life. This is Slime Rancher. I'll get into it shortly, but first, I need to explain a few things, as I always do at the start of my streams. First, you may have noticed from my voice being very deep and very gravelly that I finally hit puberty and you know I'm really heading through that whole body getting hairy and I've suddenly I'm six foot two it's so strange <laughs> uh, I'm sick um, I always get sick around this time of year because tis the season to get snotty as I like to say tis the season to get wheezy Tis the season to get rancid in your body. It's some kind of uh, chest infection. But that's not the news. The news is, is my birthday. <coughs> and not Poodaroo Plays' birthday. Me, Dulcia, it's my birthday. <coughs> it is the day I was born 24 years ago. At, I think it was a minute past two in the morning. I was a very heavy baby, very heavy. I was very fat. I had adorable little fat rolls on my neck and my arms and my legs were very tubby. I, I will be honest, I've seen my baby pictures and even I've got to admit, I was an adorable baby. I had really curious eyes. One of them didn't work properly. It kind of went a bit sideways, uh, which was how my mum knew I needed glasses from the get go. And I had gorgeous blonde hair, and like we were talking like peroxide blonde hair, uh, that somehow changed to brunette when I grew older, though my beard still has like loads of blonde in it for some reason. And um, I don't know, I just, my parents dressed me up in some adorable outfits, man. And I've got to be honest, I was a cute baby. Like, when my parents show a new spouse baby pictures of me, because sometimes they do that as a joke they don't do it as like the serious oh look how cute he was as a baby it's more like i'm going to embarrass the crap out of my son and pretend that's the kind of parent i am um but even i've got to admit dude i was i was a cute baby that i had like little waistcoats and stuff i was a proper i, I dressed like a peaky blinder basically for, for like the first three years of being alive i was adorable and then I grew up, and it all went downhill from there. <laughs> it all went downhill from there. But yeah, so it's my birthday, and I was racking my brains to think of a game I wanted to stream. And so many games come came to mind. I wanted to stream a game that means a lot to me, and loads of games came to mind. Um, I was going to capture card Jack and Daxter, uh, and then I realised how much process would have to go into that and I kind of want to wait until I have a PlayStation I can stream from until I do Jack and Daxter which is going to be like millennia in the future and then millennia for me to edit it and then millennia for me to actually upload it so we're talking about 20 years time in some dystopian future where all the streaming sites are managed by one person who consistently streams a show of people Fighting other people in this massive gladiatorial ring. That's the dystopian future I imagine in 20 years time when all broadcast networks are mandated and regulated. And there is no freedom of speech anymore. To say anything against our Lord and Saviour, my mind is telling me his name's going to be Savoy. Our Lord and Saviour Savoy, anything you say against him you will be struck down by the guards he has. Anyway, point is, it's my birthday, right? And I wanted to choose a good game, yeah? I wanted to choose a game that meant a lot to me. I was going to do Jack and Daxter. And then, I thought, how about a game that's actually on the Xbox, so all I have to do is hit a streaming button, because I'm sick and I can't be able to do anything. And I came to various conclusions. I've already done Halo. I've already done Resident Evil. And I sat and I, I thought through all the ones like Amnesia and Dead Space, and games that I want to do series is on. But I thought, what about a good one-time game? A game that means a lot to me. A game that got me through so much. And I saw Slime Rancher and I just went, Oh! <coughs> <coughs> the coughing was uh, hyperbole, but... Yeah, no, 
I, I saw this, I gasped, I'm not going to do it again, because that hurt, and I just thought, hell yeah, I am a soft squishy boy, I love soft squishy things, and this is a soft squishy game, and because I'm sick, and because it's my birthday, I wanted something that was going to cheer me up, because I'm sick every year for my birthday. And when I wasn't sick for my birthday a couple years ago, I had a set of broken ribs for my birthday, you know, I'm never okay on my birthday, there's always something going on. Whether it be broken ribs, uh, I'm sick with the flu, uh, a broken nose one year, a broken chin another year? Oh, Look at this! Mate, it has been time! Secret style pack. Include secret new looks for your slimes. Make your phosphor slimes angelic. Your tabbies look like tigers and more. You can access secret styles in the ranch house menu after finding them in hidden in special treasure pods out on the range. Yeah, boy. Cool. No one knows who or what created the ancient slime gates that are found on the ranch. On the range, rather. A thousand light years away from Earth, on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix LeBeau begins her first day as a slime rancher. Let's get moving. That little icon of the lady is what Beatrix looks like. She was the lady at the start of the main menu. I know how to control the game. Ooh, I've got an email already. I gotta remember how... Oh god. Give your slimes a fresh new look by discovering secret styles hidden in special treasure pods throughout the far far range. Once unlocked you can manage which secret styles you wish to show on each slime. Secret styles are purely cosmetic, won't change a slime's diet or the types of plots they produce. Oh, I've gotta remember their diets. Crap. Okay, star mount. Uh, secret styles missing. The 7Z Corporation. Miss LeBeau, what if we told you that the 7Z Corporation has developed technology called Secret Styles that allow slimes to express themselves and show off their inner beauty as they saw it? If you answered that question, please know that we cannot hear you as we are reading Starmau on a visual display unit. However, we will proceed as if you are excited. We're so happy you are excited. Unfortunately, the cargo ship containing these secret stars exploded for completely unknown reasons and left them all over the far, far range. Please, stay excited. The 7Z Corporation is proud to announce that secret stars for slimes are now available in unknown whereabouts throughout the far, far range. Please find them and test them. The 7Z Corporation, turning decisions to store boom plorts next to fire plorts in cargo holds into glorious treasure hunts for ranchers. One cover up at a time. <laughs> the 7Z Corporation. <laughs> so they're kind of the guys that handle the capitalism side, and I'll explain what the game's about in a second. Welcome to the Far Far Range, the 7Z Corporation. Miss LeBeau, the uh, 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the Far Far Range. Welcome, and extend our support in your bold new venture as a slime rancher. Support extended. We would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range. Until you get more familiar with your surroundings, traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7Z Corporation providing the tools you need to get the job done for us for a small fee the 7z corporation okay so these are the guys who handle the capitalism side of things and this right here is the plot market it's like a stock exchange and you can see that each plot has a little money symbol these are new bucks if i remember rightly and each poop is what these are belongs to each type of slime and you can get loads as you can see there loads of different types and you deposit them in there and you get monies and you can use the monies to upgrade your ranch and buy all kinds of goodies i have 250 monies oh hey buddy so you 
use this little gun here to suck up carrots. Those are going to be good to plant. So you use the little gun to suck up slimes. Oh, another one. Come here, you. And foods. Oh, a chicken. I need that as well. Come here. A hen hen. Sorry, not a chicken. A hen hen. Okay, four is normally how many I like to have in each corral anyway, because otherwise they get a bit restless and they like to jump around and cause havoc. Uh, okay, so... Tasty food acquired. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna plant it. Let's make it here, a garden. Uh, wait. Cowley. Okay, so that's growing carrots now. Okay, cool. So basically, you've got to collect these adorable, really cute little slimes. And you've got to feed them and keep them happy, and then they produce these. And you sell them on the plot market for mun months that you use to upgrade the ranch, and to upgrade your garden, and to get more slimes and keep them happy. And it's basically a game about ranching for slimes. And you can get all kinds of really cool stuff. So where's the uh, where's the where's the store? It's here. So, you get loads of cool upgrades for yourself. The more you explore, the more you unlock. And there's a house one as well. Where's the house one? It's like a house customizer? Where's a, where's a, where's a house customizer? Oh, we got an email from Casey. Along with talking to the 7Z company, or getting emails from the 7Z company, there's also a machine here that's kind of like a Skype call type deal that lets you talk to people across the planet, the far, far range, and they ask for specific things on your ranch, and they give you a muchos dollars payout for it. And there's also loads of areas that you can buy, it's like the grotto, that's, oh wow, that's steep. I've got 11 bucks, I'll pay the rest on finance, and there's no crafting involved or anything like that, it literally just is a case of keeping your slimes happy, and farming and I love this game it keeps me so happy you can get upgrades and stuff to make sure that everything runs smoother and faster as well but there's an underlying story you are Beatrix LeBeau and you've come to your uncle's ranch I think it is who was a famous slime rancher but you also left someone back on earth called Casey we're gonna read one of his emails now rise and shine Casey hi Bay. B? B? B. Let's go with B. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what it's like. Sevensy puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I'd better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, but B... B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you, Casey. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks, mate. So we have our four little slimes here. I'm not going to name them because if I get attached to them and then I have to get rid of them later, I'll be very, very sad. So we have started a very, very basic ranch, and I spent my 250 on growing vegetables, which now that I think about it was probably a very bad idea. But let's go exploring, because the more you explore, the more you get. You've ex discovered the dry reef. Oh yeah! And there's these little notes you can read that help expand the lore. Hello Beatrix, the name's Hobson Twilges. Rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Oh, uh, oh, a Texan accent. I've gotta go with a te- Okay. Hello Beatrix, the name's Hobson Twilges. Rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember. I felt there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. Before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your papers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Be talking to you, H. Oh. 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 
They're so cute. I can't remember why I like to have so many carrots, but I remember carrots are your best friends in this. I think it's because certain slimes have a certain um, diet, and most of them are either vegetarian or omnivorous. So that means they can eat loads of different things. Hey. Oh, look at your face, you're so happy. Oh, God, I love this game. <coughs> oh, God, rock slimes. No, that's cool. Oh, the phosphorus slime. Oh. Please don't eat each other's poops. I don't want tar on my hands. So, yeah, right, here's another cool thing I forgot to explain. If a slime eats another type of slime's poop, it creates a double. A Largo. And these Largos are hybrids, like it says. Largo slimes are large slime hybrids formed when a slime eats a paw unlike its own. Back to keep them on your nozzle or shoot them to send them flying! Oh, you didn't really fly, buddy. But there are so many adorable... Like, look at this little tabby! Look at the tab... You ate my chicken. I was about to pick that chicken up, dude. Oh, look at you! You're so cute! It's like the colon 3 emoji, I love it. Damn, dude, look at that. Is that an Aurora Borealis? Insert Simpsons meme here. Aurora Borealis? Oh, dude, that's so cool. Alright, let's feed our little buddies. Anyone hungry? Did you just steal that guy's carrot? Yo, let the poor dude eat. He's hungry. That's it. Now get out of the way. I need to vacuum up your poops. No, I don't want you. I want your poop. Right, okay. Uh... Yeah, you guys are going to get hungry, so I'll leave eight in there. And you can uh, go about your business. No, I don't want the carrot. I want the poop. How can you still be hungry? I fed you. Don't eat it all now, because I'm going to go out on an adventure and then I'm going to come back and you're still going to be hungry. <sighs> Fine, you can have them all. Uh, we want a... Boink. Boink. Boink, 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 boink. Oh, look at you guys. God, your bug-eyed expression. <laughs> Oh. My apologies if I, my coughing blows your ears out. I'm just dying over here, it's fine. <laughs> no, 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 don't feel sorry for me. If, if my coughing is blowing your ears out, it's more important than <laughs> my life. <laughs> okay, now that I'm done being a drama queen, I'm sorry, I had four in here. How'd you get out? Oi! You're not funny! Come here! You're not funny! Come on! No! Who wants a poop? That's it, eat the poop! Yes! Okay, cool, we've got our first hybrid. Oh, look! He's so happy! Oh! Oh, hey yo! Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Mate, this game is just full of cuteness. And it is it really has gotten me through some hard times. Like fair play to Monomy Park. They made a game that could just keep you keep you feeling happy. Oh yeah! Gordos! I can't jump down there yet because I can't get back up. I'll come for you eventually, Gordo. You stay over there. Hey guys. Don't accidentally kill me, please. Blue poop. Give me the blue. Give me the blue. I'm just here for the blue poops. Hey! This entire cave, oh, this entire cave system was sealed off from a cave in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellas up ahead are so grumpy. I haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long awaited bite come from your own rump. Bring some food to calm them down. H. 
yeah, so basically you can go into certain areas where these signs are, where the slimes inside aren't so nice. Uh, they've gone feral. And so, they're kind of... They're kind of a bit dicky. And they will mess up your whole day. Um, excuse me, fella. Just gonna... Yep, there you go. Now, do I need a key to get in here? No. Interesting. Oh, I do. Yeah, it requires a slime key. Okay. So certain areas in the game are locked off until you get keys. I'm so glad I... How? I'm so glad I chose this game to stream. Because, like, if I was playing Dead Space right now, I'd be knee-deep in a whole load of... Really? <laughs> no! Oh, no! Tars! Get out of here. Get out of here! So, this is what happens when you... Did I die? Bro, I was carrying so much. I can't believe I died. Welcome to the Ranch Exchange, Thora West. Hi there, Beatrix. The name's Thora West. I'll keep my introduction short on account that we all got work to do. In a long time rancher here on Far Far Range, and I'm head of the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of ranchers, just like yourself, who are looking to trade what they've got for what they need. Slimes, plots, food, whatever. What you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily, and be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. Well enough, Joran. We've got slimes to wrangle. Adios. Thora. Oh, how are the chickens doing? <gasps> no! Get out of there! No, those aren't for you! Get off my ranch! <laughs> I can't believe you just ate my chickens, you butt face! That is not cool! That's... that's not even... That's not even warm, bro. That's like lukewarm. Yeah, you. I'm no, get away from my ranch. Come here. You belong out there with the rest of the wild ones. Oh, that was such a shot. I got him right in the middle of them. Alright, I'm just gonna suck you all up and then send you all on your way. I can fire a hundred slimes a minute. My fire rate is impressive. Ooh, hey, another note. I had a great big tree like this here one along the edge of my property back on Earth. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of change around it, and then one day, I began to notice it was dying. Wasn't anything unnatural, it was just its time, I suppose. And then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree. I'd spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't gonna let that happen, so I bought a ticket far, far range the very next day. And I done became a billionaire. And then I won the lottery on top of my billionaireness, and then I found myself looking at pots of gold at the edge of a rainbow that the leprechaun hadn't taken yet. My god, you're big. Don't hold your mouth open expectantly. For all you know, I don't have any food on me. Oh yeah, you got to get a treasure opening tool for that, don't you? And then that's another no-go zone. Right, okay. Let's go. Oh, you're on top of the teleporter, aren't you? I can't feed you. I don't have enough. Right, I need to go back home because I have 20 pink plots anyway, so... What is that? Is this the Secret Styles, Pops? Heavy metal. Visit the ranch house to manage Secret Styles. Whoa. That's a cool-looking pod, bro. Oh, I got an email from Casey as well. I need more slimes. But I don't want to keep having the same... Problem is, if you if you have too many of the same slimes, you... create an abundance of availability on the stock market. And you can legitimately damage the wealth of... or the worth... of each poop. I'm gonna show you how you get slime keys. So... This dude over here, 
He is a pink slime version of the giant kitty cat we saw. This is a Gordo. Look how happy he is. Yo. And you've got to feed them, I think it's 50. You've got to feed them 50 foods and you get a slime key. Oh my god, you're getting so big. Okay, so what was that? 20... 20 something? 21? 15 plus 6? 21. So, I've got to feed you another 29. Oh, hi. Don't careful! Oh, uh, well. It's okay. So, Monomy Park paid attention to the fact that people were getting upset when slimes would fall into the ocean because they thought the slimes were dying. But, Monomy Park put it in the game that the, s all the water all around the islands is slime sea and the slimes can navigate the slime sea and they don't die when they go in the water. They just pop up some other different place. You... Go! So you can... kill the tar, but you need water to do it. And I don't have the water tank yet, so... Oops. That didn't work. Get out of here! Get out of here! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Just kicking him around like a giant luminescent beach ball. <laughs> okay, give me the hand hands. 5 plus 14 is 19, plus 3 is 21. Uh, 22. So I need seven, 7 more food items. Come on, there's gotta be carrots or something around here, right? Okay. Uh, no. You do not escape. You must be eaten. Oh! Okay. <gasps> yes! Slime key, gimme. Yes! Oh, hey! And another thingy-majig. Who did we get? Who did we get? Oh! Sparkly pink ones! Oh, look! You're so pretty! Well done, you! Good job! You guys want a carrot? You hungry for carrots? There you go, have a carrot. Another garden. And let's plant the heartbeat. So we've got that going. And then another corral. And then how much for high walls? 350. Okay, cool. Right, now we've got this key. Oh, wait, no. Before we do that, let's read the emails. Because I promised I would and then I never did. Got another star mail from Casey. My pet cactus. Casey. Hi, B. I bought a cactus from you sort of. When I came back home, it was one of the only things left in your shop. I was a lonely little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know, I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a cactus alive, then clearly something is really wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out there on the range doing your thing. Hope you're okay, Casey. The, uh, there's an end credit song to this, because there is a there is a campaign, and you can finish the campaign. It's not just, like, going around and picking up slimes and stuff. Um, and the end credit song in this game is so pretty. If I remember rightly, you can actually get three extra stri uh, slime keys in this game. Three extra ones you don't need. Indigo Quarry, here we go. Let's see what H has to say. I was always happiest when I was by my lonesome. Places like this old quarry really suited me. Nice and quiet and mostly empty. So I figured that life on far, far range would suit me just as well. And well, wouldn't you just know it? 
I come all this way and the first person I see, well, she changed how I saw things, I guess. Quiet wasn't good anymore. I liked her laugh. H. Aw. What's his name? Hobbs? Or Hobson? Like that? I've immediately forgotten. Oh! Look at the boom slime! Look at the boom. Ooh. Take that. To be fair, I don't really need this many carrots, so I can always chuck the carrots if I find something better. Oh, you're a boom pink! That's so cute! Look at this little guy! Come on! <laughs> oh! <coughs> oh, and his buddy went in after him! Oh god, that's hilarious! <coughs> oh, dude. Ah. Okay, so I fed you 13. I just gotta remember where you are. Ah, oh, that might help. And there he is, marked on the map just below my arrow. There's a little blue in the corner there. Cool. Yeah, okay, I know where I am. I know where we are. I know where everything is. I'm a genius. Don't even doubt it. Don't even sway it. You ever on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and they say phone a friend? You phone Pooteroo. Pooteroo knows what's up. He knows what everything is about. Like I said, don't doubt it. If you doubt it, you lose. I think one of the reasons why I like this game is the soundtrack reminds me of Kingdom Hearts a lot. Because it kind of sounds like the Twilight Town. Oh, I love these guys. Why am I carrying a rock slime? Get out of here. In the water poop. Oh, look how cute these dudes are. Don't you, are you shy? Hi. Don't be shy. Oh, look how cute he is. Oh, I love him. Hi. Yo. I used to come here when I needed a good soak. It's a great way to clear your head. Sometimes I'd catch a puddle slime blushing, and I could never tell if it was because I was in my bathing suit or not. H. <laughs> they look like they're inherently shy, dude. It's not always about you, Hobbs. If that's even your real name. Ooh! See, all other treasure pods you need a key for. Oh my god, they turn into lily pads! I have to see this. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, you are beautiful. You are so beautiful. I love you. I love you so much. Uh oh. Is you a lucky slime? You is. You hungry? <laughs> Thank you. I love those slimes. So, lucky slimes, if you feed them, they give you coins. Golden slimes, if you feed them, you get golden poops. And the golden poops are the most expensive poop. Oh, those pink slimes are still over there. That's really cute. They're like, it's okay. We don't really know our way around, so we're just gonna chill here. This game is so cute. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Don't you be taking a bite out of my rump. That's my rump. Yes, it be dummy thick, but it still be mine. That's my my thick rump. That's my cake. Can't have it. Got enough food for the dude? This is the dude's food from Poodaroo. Oh, this is your favorite, huh? 
We've got a little love heart going on there. Oh, there you go. Kapow! What, no slime key? Rude. Huh? What? In the hickory tickory talk? Where am I? Oh, we're on the other side of the grotto. How? I can't traverse any of this. I don't have the jetpack. Take me back. Gimme. Two. Three. And then I'll take a rock and then the rock. Ow. Bruh. Ooh. Come here. Thank you. This was what I was after. The rad slimes. Because if you pair them with the rock slimes, they like heartbeats. This game is just magical, man. It's so vibrant. And I know I've said before what I deem the meaning of the word delightful to be in games. I, I, I've said it a few times about games I've played that I've said, oh, they're delightful this and delightful that, but this game literally is like what I would imagine the gaming definition of the word delightful to be. It's just full of happiness. And it's cute. And that's an understatement. It's freaking adorable. Okay, cool. Right, so we had that second corral we set up over here. I'm going to put the high walls on it straight away. That's so cool, look at them two mixed together. That's so cool. Right, so then I need to feed. I think they're veggie, they don't eat fruit. So I'm gonna have to feed them some carrots or something. All right, I'll give myself an upgrade just so I can have the, have I got it yet? Jetpack. I didn't even look at the price for that. Dash boots, 350. Tank booster improves nano storage cell technology, allows your vac to hold 30 units of whatever you can vac up. Ooh. Water tank 350 as well. Oh, come on, man. I'll get the water tank. A blast of fresh water will calm down any slime for a short while or dissolve those terrible tar slimes. A watered garden's crops also grow faster. I didn't know that. I didn't know you could water your own crops. Kind of makes sense now that I think about it. Well, I mean, we've got the jetpack. We could go explore this thing. Whoa. Oh. That just goes back up. Oh, we got a new email from Casey. Nice. Feather your boost. Feather it. If you fall in the water, it's like an instant knockout and you lose everything you're carrying. I am carrying for what at the moment is a small fortune, so I probably shouldn't have come here just yet. That's a toy! I can make that. Oh, that was close. I almost didn't make that. What is this place? I don't remember this place. Thing is, there's nothing for me to pick up. I mean, there's chickens, but... I need 
eating veggies. Is it just treasure? Is that all that's here? I mean, that's core and everything, but I don't need that right now. I don't even have a treasure tool. But at least we know there's a place where we can get chickens. And treasure. Two things I'm not after right now. But hey. Life rarely gives us what we're after in the moments that we need it. Often, we have to find those things for ourselves. An important life lesson from Poodaroo. Right, y'all can eat. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful around these guys, I remember. There you go. That's it, munch it all up. Make sure the little guy gets some stuff to eat. Little dude, I'm trying to feed you a poop. There you go. Hey, now we got four big boys. Nice. Uh, I, I like to only have four because if you have a little more than four, it tends to get a bit out of hand. Uh, especially because this game isn't perfect. They can still glitch outside of their corrals. But now, we have access to a new plot, which will give us more money. We what? No. If you're not gonna eat it, I'll take it away. I spent good energy stealing those fruit for you. You either eat it or you go to bed without supper. Oh no, not you guys. You guys. Oh! Uh, okay, well that demonstrated two things. One, what happens when you fall into the ocean. And B, this game is still a little bit glitchy. What I'm not happy with is the fact that I was A, just on my ranch chilling, and B, carrying a new harvest of veggies. And now, my slimes are hungry. I'm gonna need a storage thingy. Let's get one of those next. Silo. Cool. I normally don't buy silos early on, but they're really useful. So I think that's actually a good thing. Hey! Come on, get out of here. Yeah, as you can see now, because I'm feeding them Heartbeat, which is their favourite food, it's giving me double of each plot that they'd produce anyway, which in itself is two, because they're Largos and not Slimes. So you like quadruple your income, it's amazing. Let's go feed that cat! Is the cat in a hat? I don't know. I don't think it is. But it should be. And the fact it isn't, is a crime. A crime not just against me, but against anyone who plays or watches Slime Roger. Oh no, don't be a dingus. What are you doing? Fire those guys. The great thing about slimes is they can be used as ammunition. I mean, I would never do that. That's cruelty to slimes. Nice save, Poo. Maybe they lowered the price from 25 to 30. Uh, from 50 to 30, I'm not sure. Okay, so that was 20. I doubt we're gonna get any chickens now. I think we've had our fill of chickens. Which means somewhere along the line I'm gonna have to either find another 30... ...or grow another 30. Hen hens, I think I'm literally just gonna go back... ...once I've gotten five. And give them straight to... ...the Largo. Gordo. 
the large Gordo, if you will. We got money, cool. Let's buy an upgrade. What do we want? Let's get... Let's get the tank booster. I mean, I could get dash boots as well. Am I feeling naughty? I'm feeling naughty. Let's do it. Yeah! Oh, you're greedy. Gave you stony hands and everything, dude. Right, you come here. And you come here. Is that daddy boobs? You ate my tabby boobs. You. Oh, just wanted the tabby poop. Damn, dude. More high walls. Tabbies. Now I don't normally like to do this this early on, but if you play everything safe in life, then you never really know what life has to offer. There's one thing gaming has taught me is that sometimes taking risks is the way to go. I mean life taught me that too, but gaming did it in a much more fun way. Life was like, ha, ah, take this risk, and then punched me in the stomach. Whereas video games was like, hey, I'll take this risk, here's a nice juicy five grand payout from that poker game you just played on Far Cry 3. You... Buffoon! Get out of here! Right. I got three of these. I'm gonna take one of you away. I'm gonna put two of you in here. You can go... have fun in the ocean. Sorry. Oh! Oh, look! That's so cute. Eat his poop. Yeah, look, even the floor glistens in the sun. So cool. Just a lot of heart and soul went into this game, I think. So pretty and so stylized. It really is gorgeous. And how are my little money makers today, hmm? My little cash cows. I mean, I don't mean to be that guy, but this literally is a case of if you start a farm in this place, it is a point of cash cows. Because these dudes are fine in the wild. They don't really need to be saved. I've got two emails. One's from Casey. Let's read this one first. The 7Z Rewards Club. The 7Z Corporation. Miss LeBeau. The 7Z Corporation would like to extend a very special offer to you. An invitation to the very exclusive, exceptionally choice, highly sought after 7Z Rewards Club. The 7Z Rewards Club allows you to earn ultra premium ranks within an exclusive club for only a semi ultra premium price. It's just that easy. Each rank grants you a new club title, along with unique rewards such as beautiful upgrades for your ranch, exclusive customization options, and more. We look forward to your enrollment. The 7C Corporation, offering you a path to greatness, one large sum of new bucks at a time. I love how tongue-in-cheek the writers have been over the 7C Corporation. The Big Storm, Casey. I got your mail. Of course I remember that day. I feel that was... I feel like that was when you and I really connected. It was raining so hard that the streets were flooding and we took shelter in that cafe. It was like a scene from a movie, only we both looked like wet animals. And the guy running the shop was a real tyrant. The only way we could stay inside was by ordering one coffee after another. I felt like we learned more about each other that day than ever. Maybe it was the coffee because we were both talking really, really fast. I told you about my dreams, making music and all that. And that's... Uh, at least that's how I remember it. Walking home, when the rain came back, you got close to me and my heart was racing. 
But I couldn't blame that on the coffee. Casey. Ooh. There we go. Poof. Nice. And no key. What we've got to do to get a key around here. Yes, we all the stonies. Oh, look! They don't even need the veggies, they're just bringing them to me. That's so cute. The docks, deep, deep down in the great blue sea, I saw a thousand slimes smiling back at me. Oh, Huh. What's in here? Oh! I was just talking about you. Hello. Okay, it's 50 fruit. Pogo fruit and the other one. Okay. Um, problem is I've just started working on chickens. So now we've got this going. I'm gonna buy this. For a very specific reason, and that's that carrots and chickens spawn here. So much. So much. There's, there's literally like, I think four different places in this one little area where chickens spawn. And so I make this kind of like my, my sanctuary for chickadees. Uh, I need as many pink poops as you've got, friends. My poopy little friends. I mean, this has got to be the only universe where people are glad diapers don't exist. Although, actually, I don't know, if these guys were wearing diapers, you wouldn't have to go and collect the plots yourself, so... I can imagine there's a market out there somewhere for slimes wearing diapers. Someone's like, I won't actually have to go and collect the poop myself if it's on the diapers. All I'll have to do is make sure it's got great storage for sharp rocky objects. And then if I make sure I change their diapers, I can sell whatever poops inside the diaper. Well, well. Oh, God, everyone in this game is so greedy. Oh, hey, another thingy. I built this area myself by spreading soil from the moss blanket all over the ground just to see what would happen. I was hoping it would attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to get some of them big mushrooms to grow here instead. They sure seem to like hanging out around those things. Why, thank you, old man. Nice! Got the slime key. A key belly. Nice. Ooh. The moss blanket. Like a flower blooming from a rocky crack, this emerald expanse hints at what could be. That it does. There are a lot of secrets to the game's lore in this part of the game. This part of the game and a bit further on. This is when you really start discovering just how deep the game can actually go. Unfortunately, I'll give you a quick look at what's on beyond. Oh no, you can't see what's there. I'm sorry, because I have to end the episode there. I am very tired, I'm very sick, and I really need some rest. <laughs> but this has been fun. I like streaming when I'm sick. You guys make me feel better, and um, I like streaming cute games like this, especially since it's my birthday. Uh, this is just a really good one to stream for turning 24 and being able to say that I'm another year older. This is my celebration of that. I get to play video games for another year, or I have been playing video games for another year, however you 
deem to see it. Very happy with the progress we've made so far. That's all this very sick, very sleepy poo has to offer you on this wonderful, joyous day of my birth. Thank you so much to everyone who's joined me and everybody who will later on. It's honestly great fun streaming for you guys. Uh, always makes me feel really happy and, you know, even when I'm sick. And it's, it's just nice to sit and chat for a while, even if it's about bollocks. Even if you guys just sit and come and watch rather than talk in the chat, it, it still makes, makes it worth it. Um, and if you want to support the channel, you know the usual, like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm not going to beg for it because I know you guys, you guys treat me well anyway, so I don't need to beg for more. I'm happy with what you guys give me. And I'm, I'm very happy with what I've got. I'm very lucky to be able to say I've got the things I've got. I've got my health. Well, <laughs> I'm sick at the moment, but I've got my health. Um, even though it's good days and bad days. I'm another year older, and yet nothing has changed in my head regarding being grateful for everything I have, being grateful for my family, being grateful for life. I know it sounds really cheesy, but hey, birthday is a day to celebrate your day of birth. I'm uh, happy to be alive, grateful, and I am very, very lucky to be born in this day and age when technology lets you gather little slimes up into corrals and farm them for their poop so you can then sell that poop to buy a bigger part of your farm to get more slimes to get more poop to sell more poop that that is the true meaning of life sell poop get rich <laughs> but thank you I am very grateful for you guys' patronage. I am very grateful for the... Even though 2020 has been a really crap year, there's no way to polish this turd. It's been a very teaching year. I've learned a lot this year. And I am grateful for that. I am also grateful for the fact I made it to 24, baby. Hell yeah. I'm sure that means I can now do something in some foreign country, but as, as far as I'm concerned with domestic stuff, it doesn't change a damn thing. There's nothing I can do now that I couldn't do when I was 18. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, thank you all the wonderful people so much. Please stay safe. Uh, please wear a mask. Please wash your hands regularly. And remember to hydrate. It's good for you. But most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye. <laughs>